And so today I'm here apologizing about the video that I made right around a year ago today on my spam account. I was asking for dark humor jokes and I was liking and commenting back to a bunch of like people like saying their own dark humor jokes, which was really unacceptable to me. And the ones that I liked and commented back to were very unacceptable and wrong in so many ways. And um, I'm here to say that I'm sorry to everyone that I have affected, affected with that video and those comments and everybody to my supporters that have like supported me through it but like i don't want like any sympathy at all because that's not what i'm asking for and it's just wrong of me to even make that video in the first place and i'm owning up to it because it is the right thing to do since those comments and those likes that i did were very uncalled for and very just not good whatsoever everyone so today i'm here I was just trying to make a joke, but that's no excuse whatsoever. There are no excuses for what I liked, commented, even making that video. That making that video was the first mistake. Um, but I don't want anybody to defend me because it is wrong on many levels, and I can see that now. And I did like a few weeks ago too. It is very wrong. Those comments that I liked and commented back to, they're very bad, and I'm very sorry for it. At that time, I was 17, but that's literally no excuse. I don't like people, like, using that as an excuse. I was 17. I should have known better because I was about to be an adult, and I turned 18 a few months later. I should have known exactly better what to do, and that is my fault, and I'm taking accountability for it for all my actions and for all the things I said and did. It is 100% my fault, and I'm very sorry to my supporters and everybody affected, and I just want you guys to listen. You don't have to accept my apology or whatever. Um, but this is my apology, and I'm very, very sorry for the things I said and did in the video that I posted. Okay, this is everyone. So today I'm here to apologize again for the dark humor jokes that I did make, but mainly I'm here to shine light on the situation and share with you what I've learned and how these people that have reached out to me about their families, about the Holocaust, 9-11, racism, self-harm, suicide, all these things, how their stories have affected me and they have helped me to learn more and i've been reading countless number of articles ted talks youtube videos i watching all these things but i'm going to share with you what i've learned and i'll also be posting on my instagram stories these links to the articles donation centers and just shining light on what i did and how it was wrong because i know there are people countless number of people that are saying what i did wasn't wrong but these are topics that need to be addressed because they are still big problems today and yeah so i will be making the first topic i will be talking about is anti-semitism which if you don't know what that is it's hate speech hate crime towards jewish people um which is exactly what i did i did hate speech towards jewish people people um but the things i'm going to shine light on is things that have happened in the past three years to now and the first thing is the um, where Robert Bowers went to the Tree of Life synagogue and purposely killed 11 people because he was a white supremacist and he said that he was going to kill Jews and he posted on social media too that he hated Jews and that was his intent and then there was I think it was a shooting or a stabbing where um, he was aiming for Jews a guy was aiming for Jews too he was going to kill Jews because they came to America back um, after the Holocaust and everything and which is very wrong but i will be posting links to articles and ted talks and everything on my instagram story and all my socials to learn more about it if you want to learn with me uh but yeah the next topic i'm talking about um is the holocaust if you don't know what that is it was when six million plus people died because uh they are simply jewish thousands of people starved to death millions were put in concentration camps and killed and gassed because they were Jewish. I got the opportunity to talk to people whose family members did not, sadly did not make it out of the Holocaust, but some others that I did talk to did, and they were telling me how it directly affected them and how much, I never realized how much it affected people, but it is a very sad topic and it gives people a lot of trauma and PTSD. And I will be posting more about it because I think it needs to be shown light on because people 
think that what I said was okay, and they're calling other people who were offended by it snowflakes, when they're not, because it, it is a very, very bad topic that... The next topic I'm talking about are the anti-Asian hate crimes that have been happening, um, but are more being posted on the news and stuff now and last year. And last year, there were 20 people who were arrested because of these anti-Asian hate crimes. I think it was in New York City. Um, but there should have been more, obviously. And I'm shining light on it because people believe that because they are Asian, they are the reason that the virus is in the United States, which is totally wrong. Um, but just because they're Asian, they are the reason that there is a full-on pandemic in the United States, which makes no sense but i will be posting more about those on now i will be talking about racism which i did make remarks to to people of color in the post that i made and i will be talking about how it's still affecting people now i recently read an article last night about this uh kid who was playing hockey and someone on the other opposite team did indeed call him a slur and that is something that is unacceptable. And then I was also reading an article um, about students talking about their experiences with racism and how this one girl came up to an, a person of color and said, oh, wow, your hair looks normal now because the girl had straightened her hair, which is something that needs to be shown because I feel like people don't that are our age don't really talk about racism that's going on right now. It's more about like, um, police and stuff, but it does need to be shown light on because it is still very unacceptable. And I'll be posting both the links to, in this video, I will be talking about suicide, self-harm, and people that are starving. For suicide, there are suicides happening every 50 seconds, which is very sad because I do want people to live their life to the fullest. And I know people personally that have taken their own life and for self-harm, I know a multitude of people that have done self-harm, which breaks my heart because I love them very much. And for people that are starving, I, my, I have been listening to my grandma who has made countless number of clean water things for people in Tanzania. And I will be posting links to donate to people and to spread more awareness about suicide self-harm. This is the last video. Um, is me just apologizing again and tell you I will be taking a break from social media, but I will be answering my DMs and talking to people one-on-one, -on -one, which um, if you want to reach out to me, you can. I've been going through my DMs for the past two days. I've been talking to people, and they've been explaining to me their problems with what I said, and I've been responding and listening to them because that's what I want to do. I want to listen to them. And that is what it's right to do, but I will also be, um, from here on out, posting about everything I just talked about on all my socials and just spreading awareness to what I said and how it was not right what I said. And I hope the people that said it, it was okay for me to say it uh, understand that it really wasn't. And all of these topics are very sensitive topics for people, and I am deeply sorry to everybody that I have offended in the communities 